So if we look at the uh, seismic provisions, uh, just a general layout of those uh, provisions, we'll be looking at requirements uh, from the, the, the general requirements from the first four chapters, A through D. Uh, mainly, really, we'll, we'll focus on some of the uh, requirements in D. And then in chapter E, there is a section for special moment frames, E3, and that's obviously where most of the requirements come from that we'll specifically look at in today's example. There's a section in E3, uh, and each system has a description of the, the basis of design. So what is it, what is the assumed sort of behavior, if you will, of the system? And that helps to guide why there are certain requirements are there and, and, you know, in the thinking of how do you apply those. So for special moment frames, they're expected to provide significant inelastic deformation capacity uh, through two behaviors, really. Flexural yielding of the beams, and some or limited yielding of the column panel zone. So column panel zone uh, behavior is often overlooked, but uh, you are expecting some yielding in those panel zones. So looking at you know, a few points on the panel zone, uh, it, it, the panel zone itself needs to be strong enough to, to make sure there is an excessive deformation uh, of, the, uh, of the panel zone itself so you don't get excessive rotation of the joint and in the system as well. But you are expecting yielding, like I said, and it is, is an efficient way of providing ductility. Uh, but you don't have, want to have too thin of a web because that might buckle and you want to avoid the buckling uh, of the web. That would that was not a desirable uh, behavior. So if we look at section E 3.6, again, in the AISC seismic provisions, uh, we haven't gotten to the pre-qualified connections yet. The main, you know, there's a lot of requirements in there, but I think what I think of as the main requirement uh, is, comes down to a performance requirement on the, the beam to column connections. These must uh, be able to sustain an interstory drift angle of at least 0.04 radians, and at that 0.04 radians, the flexural resistance must remain to 80% of the plastic moment strength of the beam. So you have to uh, be able to maintain the, the drift, or the interstory, ang uh, interstory drift, and maintain a certain strength of that drift. So those are important uh, performance uh, targets that uh, need to be met. And then uh, it goes on to tell you how you can uh, dem demonstrate that you're conforming to those requirements. Uh, I think the most popular way is what we're going to discuss today, and that's the use of one of the pre-qualified connections in the AISC 358 document. Uh, the 358 document, which is called the pre-qualified connections for special and intermediate steel moment frames for seismic applications. Because of the length of the name, uh, we'll refer to it either the pre-qualified connections document or simply AISC 358. There are other ways though. You can go ahead and, and do testing uh, per section K2 in the seismic provisions. Uh, you can also review tests, test reports that, that have followed the cyclic testing requirements of K2 and demonstrate that the connections you're going to use meet those limits of the testing and will perform uh, adequately. Uh, AISC also allows for the, the uh, uh, moment connections to be pre-qualified uh, per section K1. So that outlines how one would go about or a group would go about setting up a, a review panel that would pre-qualify connections and you know what limits you need to set, what things need to be considered, what design steps uh, have to be included in that uh, process for that board to, uh, that group to be able to pre-qualify connections. And really what AISC, <coughs> excuse me, AISC has done to reach the pre-qualified connections document that they produce is, um, is B there. It, it, they set up a pre-qualified a review panel, pre-qualified connection review panel based on their own requirements uh, of section K1 so that they are one of the bodies pre-qualifying connections. 
you could have other uh, you know, authorities or jurisdictions doing the same thing. Um, I have not heard specifically of anything doing that yet. There are other ways to get um, products qualified uh, for use. There are, there are connections that are not part of this document that, that you can use, obviously. 